What's going on guys? Danny aka New Yo Boy 87 here in my kitchen. Welcome to my first video on Unprofessionally Unboxed. Alright, what I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing today is the Trek Pow OBD2 diagnostic interface which is basically a reader for your car's computer it'll tell you what's wrong with your car it'll display many different details on it like uh, fuel economy and uh, your 0 to 60 pretty much anything you can think of it'll do for your car using your iOS or Android device. Alright, so let's hop to it. Alright guys, here it is. The TrekPow OBD2 diagnostic interface. It is your car diagnostic scanner. It scans your car and gives you information on your car. Alright, on the side we have our contact information for TrekPow. You got their email address and their Facebook page. And it also shows that it supports apps, it's convenient, and high compatibility. So pretty much any car under the sun, it's compatible with. On the other side, has all your recycling information made in China, blah, blah, blah. It is compatible with your iOS, Android, and Windows devices. And on the back, you have their website, their QR code, and all this gibberish over here and some tips would make more sense if it said steps but no nah, they're tips anyways let's open this thing up all right there we go we got the instructions and the device itself that's pretty much it this plugs right into the car which I will show you in the next clip okay so the OBD2 port is usually somewhere around the steering wheel so find it plug in the scanner press the button and now you can pair it with your iOS Android or Windows device via Bluetooth now the best app in my opinion to download for the OBD2 scanner is Torque. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now, as you can see there's a bunch of stuff you can do with it but first you'll have to make a profile. So hit the little gear on the bottom left corner and select vehicle profile. This is where you'll enter all of your vehicle's information like the VIN number, engine size, weight, etc. I already made one so let's move on. Now adapter status pretty much shows the scanner's connection to your car's computer and your handheld device. Everything here is green so we're all good. And you'll definitely know it's working when you see the revs on the dial here. Let me hit the accelerator and you'll see that the revs move in real time. Graphing is also supported in the Torque app for measuring numerous specs of your vehicle such as a fuel pressure and engine RPMs. Test results basically checks to make sure your vehicle's sensors are reporting properly. The fuel economy plugin allows you to track, you guessed it, your vehicle's fuel economy. The map view function displays a Google map with a color coded log of your last few trips. I haven't driven with it yet so there's nothing displayed here. The check fault codes function scans the vehicle's diagnostic systems and displays any error codes. So if your check engine light is lit <laughs> then we'll tell you what's up with your vehicle.
So I'm just doing a scan really quick to show you guys. And there's nothing wrong with my car, so it shows no fault codes. Alrighty, so here is the uh, real-time information dashboard, which shows a number of many different gauges. First screen shows dials for the accelerator, revs, throttle, speedometer, vacuum, and the coolant temperature. The next screen shows your 0 to 60 time, your 0 to 100 in kilometers, your quarter mile, your eighth mile times, as well as your vehicle horsepower during a run. That's pretty much it guys. The TrekPal OBD2 scanner in conjunction with the Torque app, in my opinion, is a godsend for any car guy or pretty much anyone who wants to monitor their car for any issues and beat the repair shops at their own game. So there you have it guys. That was the unboxing and review of the TrekPal OBD2 diagnostic interface. If you'd like to purchase this, I will leave a link right down in the description. If you like this unboxing, check out our other videos, Unprofessionally Unboxed. If you like me, check out my channel, New Yo Boy 87 which I'll probably put so somewhere on the screen there. Both, both uh, subscription bubbles will be somewhere on the screen. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care.